weaknesses in IT controls and gaps in the management of social grant programs were among the lapses in several ministries and government agencies identified by the Auditor General's Office in its latest report released today. The AGO's audit for financial year 2018-2019 identified weaknesses in IT controls, lapses in procurement and contract management, and gaps in the management of social grant programs as key financial lapses. The ministries flagged included manpower, defense, health, as well as social and family development. The 99-page AGO report looked at the financial statements of all 16 ministries, four government funds, and nine statutory boards, among others. Elizabeth New has the details. In its latest report, the AGO said it found weaknesses in IT controls in the Manpower Ministry, Singapore Customs and the Defence Ministry. For example, operating system administrators for the Manpower Ministry, who were external vendors, had unrestricted access to IT systems processing work permits and employment passes. The ministry was also not aware that five servers for two of its IT systems were unable to send logs for security monitoring for months because of outdated configurations. At Singapore Customs, IT vendor staff could access the most privileged operating system user accounts without password authentication. Activity logs also did not capture sufficient details of those performed using privileged accounts. Meanwhile, the AGO found that a number of IT vendor employees were granted unrestricted access to read personnel and payroll information in MINDEF's human resource system. Since 2014, MINDEF had also not reviewed log records of access made by IT vendor staff to information types which required controlled access. On Monday, a high-level committee tasked with reviewing data security practices across Singapore's public sector announced 13 recommendations to strengthen systems, including confirmation prompts for emails with sensitive data and encrypting files. One IT expert told CNA that even if these were implemented earlier, there are limitations on what it could do for lapses in IT controls in the organizations. As much as you want to build digital capability, you also have to make sure you care for uh, security and manage risk along the way. So we believe a balance between digital transformation and digital risk management, that balance is what is needed to ensure this thing doesn't happen. And that's how you drive improvement. Um, so it's, it's all about teamwork between IT, security and risk teams. Another expert said the weaknesses in IT controls boil down to manpower issues. We quite often ask people who aren't necessarily equipped to tackle some of these problems to do so in their work. I don't think anybody knowingly goes out of their way or deliberately neglects or avoids these things. Uh, in my experience, people genuinely are trying to work towards achieving security. But again, it is difficult if you just simply don't have enough people to be able to do it. The lapses in IT controls were also flagged in last year's report, though they involved different entities. The Auditor General's report also noted that when it came to the disbursement of grants, there were inadequate checks by ministries prior to the approval of funding. From 2016 to 2018, a total of $1.59 billion was disbursed by the Health Ministry and the Social and Family Development Ministry to over 1,000 program voluntary welfare organizations. The AGO said while there were established processes for grant application, evaluation and approval, checks by the ministries were inadequate. For example, there were a significant number of instances where the approval of funding came only after the funding period had started or grants were dispersed before the necessary approvals were obtained. In response, the two ministries said they are taking immediate actions to address concerns raised. They also acknowledged the need to strengthen controls, including working with relevant VWOs to rectify over and under disbursements. 
Now, the AGO's audit also revealed a significant number of irregularities in quotation documents submitted by contractors for the National Development Ministry and the Urban Redevelopment Authority. Now, due to concerns on the authenticity of the quotations, both parties have since referred the matter to the police. Responding to the AGO's report, the Finance Ministry said efforts are being made across public agencies to address the findings in three areas. These are in strengthening capabilities in grants administration, addressing lapses in contract management, and automating IT tasks.